You know, Keith, as Ryan pointed out, headline writers love the expression bomb cyclone <laughs> almost as much as they love the polar vortex. They do. And like, you know, we talked a little bit about this yesterday. Neither are technically incorrect. They're just they're just using a lot of terms at once and it, it, it sounds scary. They're snappy, you know, they, yeah. it's, they, they grab your attention and that's really what it's all about. It's true. How about rainy and windy? That's what I like to call. Oh, it's <laughs> that's gonna, my clickbait right there. It's kind of what it really is, right? Uh, and it's been pretty rainy over southern Maine so far. You can see there hasn't been much north of Bangor, which we talked about yesterday. It's, it's going to be a theme really throughout this storm system. We zoom out and uh, it's looking pretty good with really strong circulation here to the southeast of New York. And as Ryan mentioned, they are investigating this potentially as naming it. Now, named or unnamed doesn't really matter. The impacts are going to be the same for us here in Maine. But it is an interesting little side note that it might transition just enough to be considered a uh, tropical storm. Uh, so as Ryan showed you there, this storm is really quickly intensifying and it gets that really tight wound up look here later this afternoon and into this evening and it's sitting in a perfect location. You know, a joke about this, but it's not really a joke. This would be a great snowstorm over southern New England if it were that time of the year, but it's not. So instead it's rain and wind. It kind of wobbles around and eventually moves out on Wednesday afternoon. So closer to home, the, the impacts here are that the rain bands will become more consistent and heavier later this afternoon and especially this evening. I think tonight is pretty nasty along the coastline with periods of heavy rain, gusty winds, and that continues through the early morning hours on Wednesday through about the middle of the day on Wednesday. It's largely coastal rain and then we start to dry things out Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night and we should wake up on Thursday not to a beautiful day for most of us, but for a much calmer day and it's drier, still a little bit breezy temperatures in the 40s here to start, but we will get rid of the precipitation. and Most of the heavy stuff really happens overnight tonight. So potential rainfall. This is additional rainfall. Most of us have picked up about a quarter to up to a half inch of rain. So two to four inches total here in that purple area, one to two along most of the coastline, really sharp cutoff north of Bangor. Where I don't think this is a big deal at all. It's just breezy and showery. Now the winds are interesting because they're right on the line. I think late tonight, well, most of us are sleeping. The winds will start gusting out of the north and east at about 40 to 45 miles an hour. Some gusts though possible up to 50 from Portland to Sanford to Portsmouth and maybe even into Rockland. So we'll have to watch that. My experience is a northeast wind. We can do about 50 and get away with it, even with the leaves on the trees. So hopefully that's where we stay. If we gust up to 55 or over that, then we will start to see more power outages. So we're really five miles an hour away from this being a bigger issue. I think we'll stay to the south of that, but just something to keep in mind that it does get quite breezy tonight. We'll certainly lose a lot of leaves out there as well. Things quiet down on Thursday. Friday looks pretty decent. Unfortunately, rain likely to come back into the picture on Saturday. We should improve for Halloween itself, which as we talked about yesterday is on the mildish side for a Halloween in Maine, right around 60 degrees and then back to some more calm weather uh, on Monday into the upper 50s or so. One thing that could be said here, Pat, though, is the whole like extended summer feel that we had. We've shut that down and it's going to be really hard to get it back going into November. And that's really only fair, yeah. I think. <laughs> that's happened eventually. Thank you, Keith.